Estes Ron Kuhn, in a computers.com, otro video para ti hoy. I have before me a Hewlett Packard 15 AC 121DX notebook computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace the memory, reseed it, you know, get access to the memory. So you would just close the laptop and then flip it over. And you're going to have 12 screws that you need to remove to get this back plate off. I already have the screws removed, but I just wanted to show you that there are indeed 12 screws. There are two underneath the battery, so you need to take the battery out. And let's see. This one is missing one of the releases, but I have a screwdriver that I should be able to get it out. There we go. So remove the battery. There are two screws underneath the battery, there and there. And they are pretty small screws. Let's see, I think I, there should be over here. So they're gonna look about this size. And then there are 10 other screws that you need to remove, two here. And then three more here, here, and here. And then finally, three more here, corner, center, corner. And they all are the same size. And they look like, they look like this. Well, actually, I think two. I think these, yeah. These two that are underneath the battery are a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can tell on camera. The rest are all the same size, so you don't need to worry about that. The DVD drive is locked in place by one of the screws, so once you remove the screw, pull out the DVD drive so that you can remove the back cover and set that aside. Now, I think the easiest way, there's different ways you can take off the cover. One way is just to leave it laying face down and then pull up because this laptop comes off a lot easier than most than some others another way is you could set it on its side like this and then maybe get a guitar pick or a computer pick or use your hands and pull the two pieces the two plat pieces of plastic like this just pull Oops, that happens sometimes, which I don't care. Because this is, so just pull it apart. Come on, there we go. And then it should come off. We can try it on this side as well. It's easier with a pick, but it'll, it'll come apart. Okay, so you can do it this way. Just make sure you get all the screws because you don't want to break any of the plastic. Another way you could have done it is leave it on its side and then just pull pull up and it comes right off. That's probably the easiest way is to leave it face down and just pull up as long as you removed all 12 screws. We can set that on its side and here's the memory. It's basically close to the center near the heat sink next to the heat sink now if you might be wondering why there's only one memory module one of the original memory modules that came with this laptop is bad so this one is still good to remove the memory you just take your fingers and pull out there's these two little latches these releases pull outwards and then the memory will move up and then just pull out the memory and there you go so if you need to replace the memory just reverse engineer to to put the other memory in place just angle it a little bit push it in far enough so that if if you can still see the gold contacts it's not tight push in so that you can no longer see the contacts and then push down and now it's tight in place and then if you needed to you might have another memory module and you would just insert it here flip it the other way around 
and push in so that you cannot see the gold contacts and then just push down and boom that's all you have to do so that's how you replace or reseat memory on a Hewlett Packard 15 AC 121 DX and then I'm gonna put it back in its original slot obviously you'd have to replace the cover but I think the quickest way is also just to lay it flat like this and then take the cover and just lay it down and then once once you get it correctly push down push down or pick it up and then just and you can hear the plastic snap and it will snap into place and as you can hear that and then you would just put the DVD drive back in make sure you have it the right direction which yeah like this and then put the battery don't forget the two screws underneath the battery two small screw smaller screws there and then the other ten you just screw down and then there are the little foot feet that cover the screws there don't forget those actually I think it goes on the, like that and then just press down and there might be enough glue so that it it's permanent adios